fans. I thought it was other creators. It was both. So he did it to other creators. So since he had so much power, he would use that other up and coming creation, uh, up and coming creators. He'd be like, oh, you know, I see a lot of potential in you. Come on, come on out here. Come on, come on, do this. He'd end up being a very big weirdo and even sexually assaulted, allegedly, on an occasion. But he also did that to a fan at one point, if I remember correctly, $500 or something for it. Yeah, so CoffeeZilla covered the Ryan P. scandal. Deeper than that, though, it's the entire Revolt situation. I'm sure... I'm, I'm just going to pull the chat here. How many of you know what Revolt was, is, slash, was? The company, Revolt. Okay, there's a lot more no's than I would have expected. Okay. For a while, they were like the go-to place for every content creator to pump their merch through. So Revolt was one of the big boys on the block pretty early on. And they had like some of the biggest names. You can see in CoffeeZilla's thumbnail, you see like Valky Ray, Anthony, Corpse, Mr. Beast. They also had, I think they had, uh, uh, God, there was one other massive one that I'm blanking on. Oh, they had Tubbo. I think they had a couple of the, uh, other like big Minecrafters. But it was basically spearheaded by Ryan P, whom if you're a Misfits fan, you'll know the name. So Ryan P had Revolt. And over the years, a lot of less than savory things came out about it. CoffeeZilla dives into a lot of the allegations from like financial fraud, even gets a ton of testimony. Well, can't say testimony since everyone wanted to remain anonymous, but a lot of people that worked for the company, worked on the inside, even provided CoffeeZilla some receipts that showcased that Revolt was basically just a Ponzi scheme. Like at least it borrowed some fundamentals from a Ponzi scheme. So what would happen is, They'd do a big merch drop for a creator, they'd take a portion, and what would happen is they'd need their next merch drop to be bigger, because then they'd pay for the first merch drop's minimum guarantee through some of the proceeds, through some of the profits from the second merch drop, and they'd fund it that way. So basically Ponzi scheme like that. And it was all used by Ryan P to live this lavish lifestyle where he'd be buying like private jet flights, uh, renting Ferraris, spending 25k a week on renting a mansion. Thanks to the tier one mean and the resub brizzled. And Revolt eventually went tits up because no one was getting paid. People weren't getting the merch they ordered. There was a lot of internal conflict, a lot of problems. So everyone eventually stopped using Revolt and it got a really shitty name. But no one really talked about Ryan P himself, the man behind it all. Here, I'll show you what he looks like in case maybe you know his face but don't know his name. Because he was, he was big for a while. Like, he was a creator, most notably with... The Misfits. This goober. So, Ryan P. had a lot of allegations surface about him, starting with sexual predator claims. That he would get people super fucked up, super drunk, and then, like, assault them. One of them being in the shower. Well, actually, a couple of them being in the shower or in the bathroom in general. And just being an all-around scumbag. So CoffeeZilla did a deep dive going through the financials of Revolt, how it was all just this giant fucking scam basically from the get-go, and even touches on these sexual uh, assault allegations against Ryan P. And it is a beautifully composed piece on this absolute menace. And pretty much anyone in the space probably has at least something to say about Ryan P because he was so well-connected. I never met him. He sent me a DM once, like, three years ago. I don't remember what it was. I tried to find it, but I think he deactivated his Twitter, so I can't see the message anymore. If I remember, if I remember correctly, he was, like, inviting me to go somewhere. He was, like, uh, inviting me to some kind of, like, party or something, which I didn't go to. But a buddy of mine had actually recently been talking about Ryan P. about a month ago. I, I won't name him because I don't know if he wants his name put on it, but he was telling me that Ryan P., like, pretty soon, his house of cards is going to come crumbling down because he is actually a predator. And I was like, damn, what do you mean by that? So he started telling me, like, this guy is a bad fucking guy, one of the worst people we've ever almost worked with. So seeing this was not surprising at all based on what my buddy was talking about. And apparently that's super common. Pretty much everyone has some kind of story about this guy being a piece of shit. And now CoffeeZilla's blown the lid off it, which is great. There's a five gifted members, Exco. It's good to see you. 
This guy owned Revolt, which was one of the biggest merch companies for YouTubers and well and streamers, really just content creators in general. He was also a big presence on the Misfits uh, brand of everything. He, he, for a while, was well-connected to everything online. And I think, according to CoffeeZilla, he's unable to be reached. He's a resub cyclone, so he's going to lay low and probably just try and ride it out. You almost got drugged. Yeah, if I went to that party, I'd go up there and <laughs> Ryan would roofie my vodka coke. <laughs> Yeah, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. This guy's an actual menace. He would even pay for, like, nudes from fans or something. Like, he would send money to fans to supply him with bad material. Or at least attempt to. He, he's just a bad guy. And he did it from, like, the official Misfits business account. Fans, I thought it was other creators. It was both. So he did it to other creators. So since he had so much power, he would use that other up and coming creation, uh, up and coming creators. He'd be like, "Oh, you know, I see a lot of potential in you. Come on, come on out here. Come on, come on, do this." He'd end up being a very big weirdo and uh, even sexually assaulted allegedly on an occasion. But he also did that to a fan at one point, if I remember correctly, five hundred dollars or something for it. There's a resub Farkath. No idea, Sale. I've never really had a bad interaction like that, so I'm not sure. I think everyone is confused about Misfits. I thought you meant the band. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the Misfits, the content creator group. What was the Misfits' involvement, if any? I can't imagine any of them really knew about this because again he was fucking them behind the scenes by doing all of this i don't think they signed off on it i really can't imagine any of them knew that'd be my guess i don't think they were privy to it oh there will be more for that mason for sure there's a tier one cami misfits 100 percent new i mean in one of their podcasts one of them says he doesn't drink he just encourages people to get drunk I mean, that does get said in that podcast, that is true, that is a little weird, of, that, that is kind of a weird thing to say, but I don't think they meant it, like, I don't think they meant it knowing what he's doing. Like, they, they made him the butt of that joke, I think they were just talking about, like, that's a weird thing to do, but I don't think they knew how deep it went. Like, that's my guess, or maybe that's just wishful thinking, I guess, but I really can't imagine they would be knowledgeable on it, because again, he was fucking them, too, behind the scenes, like, financially... He was doing a lot of horrible things from their business account. Like, I can't imagine they signed off on it. Thanks to tier one. Artemi Artemia? Artemia? I just use OBS sale. Is the Misfits channel dead? It's very inactive. I don't know if it's like dead dead, but it is super inactive. Thanks to tier one Floopy and the Prime Irish. Thanks to Risa Blazania. An MK. Resub Psycho. Oh, I just do display setting for it, Sale. Sorry, I misunderstood what you meant. I can definitely ch take a peek at that, Molina. Sure. I'm unfamiliar with their work. Where is the D&D &D content? Skill Check Show YouTube channel. Thanks, Resub Stake. That's where we post it all. The Misfit members drop comments about him being a sociopath as well. As Coffee says, it's like Weinstein, so even if they knew, he had the control. I mean, it is pretty similar to, like, the Weinstein stuff, which Coffeezilla does mention. What do you mean by the Misfit's members drop comments? Like, on, like, the community tab or something? Or, like, on the video? Probably on the video. I'll have to check them out. And no, I just, I just heard about it, Jeb. Is the Misfit is Misfits different from the Gaming Misfits org? Yes. Misfit has to be one of the most used names over the last 10 years. For some reason, it is the most popular fucking brand name for everything. Misfits Band, Misfits Gaming Org, Misfits Content Creator Group, Misfit Boxing Company, all of it, and none of them connect. They're all different. So yes, this is totally separate from that. But yeah, true, the Misfits band is well older than <laughs> than 10 years, that's fair. They've been grandfathered into that name. But it is extremely overused today. 
I'm definitely not a fan of that sale. I don't think Stan culture is something great. I don't think there's any positives that come from it. And thanks to the resub control and eggnog. Yeah, I know, John, but like recently it's been used significantly more. How did none of the misfits come forward about a sexual misconduct prior to this video? My guess would be they didn't know. There were allegations that surfaced on Twitter, uh, I don't know how many months ago, but a couple months back. And then all of it is being covered by CoffeeZilla and some of it being corroborated as well in that regard. So, my guess would be they just didn't know. Things of Prime. Gambar. Things of the Prime. Bongi. Have you seen bulldozers used as a political weapon? I can't say that. Or, I can't say I've seen that. I don't know. I said I can't say that. There was more to that statement. I can't say I've seen that. What's your opinion on Misfits, the punk rock band? I think they're alright. I'm not like the biggest Misfits fan, but I think some of their music's pretty decent.